All right, so back to this. Oh, for on. for whatever reason, it's upside down. I have no idea why. Uh, okay, I guess it's going to stay upside down then, which is it's just weird, but again, just ignore that. It's a, it's a black screen anyway, so it shouldn't make a difference, but at least in terms of that, right again, back with the uh, second Omari video, right again, character comparison video. I already got the Mari one up. Um, again, that was the first one, right? And the decision was between Mari and Sunny, uh, pretty much. And I went with Mari, considering she's the focus of the, again, extended, the uh, AU there, right? So, logically, again, the next uh, choice, the next uh, person that I'll be going with there is uh, Sunny. And that's what this video is about, right? But you could already, already tell that by the title. So, again, right? At least in terms of that there. So, there's that, right? And then also, just this will, being entirely honest, this will probably be another shorter video. Because again, right, a lot of art and sort of what we'll learn about the Omari version of Sunny will come from, again, Headspace and uh, Mari's version of Headspace, right? As well as, again, you know, depending on, this is the big thing I talked about in the Mari video, uh, depending on whether they want to follow the same timeline or sequence of events that they did in the uh, original right as again right as it's something to where it's like i just personally don't see unless they go the burial route for the incident i don't see mari going for kikomori for four years i just don't see it happening i don't really think it's in character but again i don't know i didn't make the fucking games i just make these shitty videos right so even who knows whenever the game comes out in like 2026 or 28 you know i'll play it right and we'll see what happens. By that point, maybe I'll fucking, uh, I don't know. You know, maybe I'll be done with this uh, YouTube shit, right? But who knows? So, at least in terms of that, right? But what that comes down to here is we... Th this video should still be slightly longer, though. Because we know a lot more about Sonny and Omori, right? You know, than Omari. So, kind of the care uh, comparison there, right? As opposed to Mari, where we don't really know that much about her and Omori. And then... Omari, the mod at least, you know, uh, the Omari, that's, that's kind of yet to be released, and that's where we'll learn a lot about her from, so, even if it's shorter than the actual game, which I assume, right, let's assume, I'd say, you know, it's, uh, like, let's be real, it'll probably be about a third, maybe half the length of the original, just because, but, again, at least in terms of that, who knows, right, but, for the, regarding that, at least, you know, we can kind of get into Sunny, I guess, the next main character, sort of. Uh, again, the main character of Omori, not Omari, right? Again, and kind of obviously, because roles are swapped. And again, kind of how his characters look like in both, right? So, we can get into that there. So, again, Sunny and Omori, right? First things uh, first there. Uh, again, right? I mean, I've made... How many videos have I made on Sunny? I made the Why Sunny Hung Mari video, and in that video I went over again it, like, because obviously, you know, when I learned about that and during the playthrough, I was like, I even mentioned, I'm like, you know, is this dude like a psychopath? Like, that's not a normal fucking thing to do, right? It's one thing to accidentally, you know, push your sister down the stairs and kill her, but then to go off and fucking hang her, right? Great, which to be fair was, uh, that's ba that was Basil's idea. But again, right, my sort of explanation for why Sonny did that was because, again, he just couldn't come and bear to accept what he did to Mari, right, and his sister there. And that was part of the whole kind of idea of rejecting reality and deluding yourself there, right? And that's why the message of the game is to come to terms with and accept what's happened, the complete opposite of what Sonny did in that instance. But that was my sort of explanation for that. And I think that makes sense, especially given Sonny's character and how he's more introverted and reclusive and sort of keeps to himself there uh again right that just makes more sense as opposed to mari who i don't see doing kind of the same thing which is why i don't see again you know her going for ikikomori for four years but we will see in terms of that right so there's that and then the next thing there is um so that was the first video i made on him then i made the video on is sunny guilty and i pretty much talk about how Sonny doesn't absolve himself of his guilt, of his trauma, the weight of what he's done until he tells the truth. He doesn't become a good person until he does that, right? Because that's, again, you know, it's not out of forgiveness, right? You know, which is, I think, the mistake many people make. But it's about coming to terms and accepting 
Uh, and again, I'll talk about that because I also made the importance of a more video, but it's about that, right? No longer deluding yourself, no longer rejecting reality. And because we know Sonny suffered a lot, right? Again, you know, I still think Aubrey had it worse as all the suffering she went through was non-self-inflicted versus Sonny. But something where he had suffered and had the most guilt or trauma out of anyone. Uh, again, not saying, because I legitimately do think that uh, Aubrey's like the hidden victim of uh, Omori here, right? But again, it's something to where it's like, in terms of that, Ryan, what we see uh, with that is that something to where, again, Sonny, that's when he absolves himself of that guilt, when he finally comes again, you know, stops rejecting reality, stops deluding himself there, and finally tells the truth to everyone, and only then does he become a good person. So that's kind of went over there, and then again, the last one I made was the importance of Omori, and then again, you know, accepting was and coming to terms with what has happened, right? And I kind of used... Well, I mentioned, I use my fucking example of like my, uh, the work that I'm doing, right? But it's also something where, like, I've mentioned before, I've, again, similar situation, uh, different scenario, right? Uh, again, because it's something to where it's like, yeah, you know, when they, A, I was way older, and then B, it was way less extreme. There was no fucking fake death going on, right? Staging of suicides. But something to where when you have a friend in a friend group who dies, right? You, you like because it, it's tempting to think about oh you know if they were alive this is what they'd be doing if I was there and I could save them. You just need to think about what you did when they were alive, right? It's like if you made the most like I was pretty close to them and I'd say I was good friends with them, but and we had good times together and it's something to where it's like that's what matters most. You know I made the most of their experience when they were around. You know nothing's gonna change that, right? You know. Do, like when and I even mentioned this in the Violet Evergarden videos you know do, like human life is frail you know very frail right and it's like glass you know and then but the weight of death is also a big thing right not only on the beholder whoever dies but also on the people around them that impacts you know again it's something to where like when you're going through that or it's when it's something that's happening you know again you you hurt you only hurt yourself more by again you know kind of not accepting it right and then not accepting and coming to terms with that right if if you spend again right if you if you just get hung up on oh if they were alive oh if i did this or that right you know you're just you're you're never gonna kind of be able to accept that right so that's that's what i talk about there and that's something where again that ties into a more because obviously he creates this entire fucking headspace world right literally goes on cycles of adventures but it's like okay you know, you do this, right? But it's like, I mean, we, we know he just sits inside for four years and does nothing while the real world carries on without him, right? I mean, that's kind of the whole point there. That's like, that's the whole point of him beating Omori, right? Is that he's finally, you know, overcome his sort of that version of himself. And he's finally learned to kind of accept, you know, come to terms with what's happening, that there's a real world outside, right? And again, that's that's why when he also decides to tell them the truth, right? And again, stop rejecting reality and stop deluding himself there. And again, that finally absolves himself of that guilt and becomes a good person. So tying that in with the previous point. But those were pretty much the three videos I made on Sunny. Again, you can go watch them all. I go more in depth. I don't think there's really anything else I need to say about his character. I, I don't think. I think that's pretty much. Those cover the big things, right? And that pretty much, again, right? Those cover the big things there. I mean, if it wasn't obvious, he, he loved his sister. He really did, right? Even though she wasn't the perfect person, because, again, you know, I, I I think people go to either one extreme. They say, oh, you know, Headspace version Mari is accurate. Or they say, oh, you know, it's the opposite. She was a perfectionist and manipulative person. I think either both of those are wrong. Again, what I've been saying is that she was just... Uh, Again, that she was more so inconsiderate about Sonny's feelings and that she still wanted the best and was trying to do the best for him, but she didn't really take into account what he wanted. So that that was sort of my interpretation of her there. So again, I think people go to extremes, but I think regardless, it's obvious Sonny still loved her, right? You know, and I think it's also something to where, again, what it uh, comes down to there, right? Is Mario also loved him. I think, I think that's evident. And that's why, again, he feels so much pain when uh, again, throughout the story, so, yeah, otherwise, if he was just a fucking psychopath, right, you know, which, again, it's still, like, that's why it's still, you know, 
very contrived and very, uh, what would you call it, manufactured, you know, the whole, like, hanging thing, right? Is That's why it's like, Basil's the true villain of the fucking story, but, again, something where it's like, I think that, like, that's just, because if some people don't believe it, I mean, it's like, come on, you're, you're like, reading too far into it, so, but at least towards that, I think that's all out of the way, so, I guess the question now is, okay, what's Omori like in Omari? right as obviously we know less about omori in omari or sunny in omari right what's sunny like in omari we know less about what sunny's like in omari than mari in omari right and we already know very little about mari we need to learn more about what's her headspace going to look like what's the overall story going to look like before we can answer that but even for sunny right because like the big thing is obviously we know because we because even in omori right it's only through like what's it called Sonny's like because he's the main character and like he's the one we're uh, controlling right and that like who we are playing through right that we learn about him otherwise he's effectively mute I'm not even sure he says a single fucking word in the entire fucking game right like let's be real here I'm not sure he says a single word in the whole game like I I legitimately don't know so it's like and then on Omari there right I did read though again because I actually watched what's it called for the makers of the mod they posted like an faq video on their youtube page it, it's a bit old it's like i think it's about like seven eight months old i watched it and one of the questions was what's sunny be like and they said that pretty much he's still going to be introverted and like kind of more reserved and more so like what would you call it um reclusive to himself right but obviously he's not going to be completely mute and he's still going to take the role of mari and still very clearly loves them and then not just mari but his friend group as well and supports them there so i'll say the biggest thing is that you know it's not he's going to be again act almost kind of like as opposed to just this mute person you know this kind of uh machine or like robot that we know in the original uh omori game right he'll actually act again kind of like a human there right and have that be something to where it's like yeah again right so where we'll we'll actually be able to again kind of in it my guessing is that again because similar it's also important to note similar to how headspace mari was again you know kind of what would you call it um made a better version of herself out of some like sort of respect you know to her passing by sunny i assume a similar thing will happen to headspace sunny in omari right where he'll be made kind of a better version of herself himself as well out of some again sense of respect for his passing by mari right so my guessing is that the real world sunny yeah here's my guess and this is what i'm gonna go off on a limb and say right my guess is that the real world version of sunny will be very similar or the real version of sunny and omari will be very similar to the sunny we have in omori my guessing is that the headspace version again he'll be less introverted i guess less inclusive reclusive to himself less i guess timid or shy there he'll be more like kind of outgoing more supportive of his friend group and then mari specifically right while still again having that edge if anything i see him being similar to i guess like almost like basil kind of i guess is a way to put it obviously not fucking hanging though right not none of the hanging bullshit but my guess is that he'd actually be somewhat similar and closer like Basil as opposed to anything else, which is interesting because I'm pretty sure we get Basil and um, Basil is one of the party members in um, Omari, right? Or at least that's one of the plans because Hero takes Basil's place. So uh, it'll be interesting to see there. But again, my guess is that real world Sonny will be kind of more like himself that we saw in Omori and Headspace will probably be again similar to how we saw him in um in what's it called similar to almost like basil in a sense right basil but obviously feeding the character sunny so at least in terms of that i think that's pretty much all i need to say for that because again we really don't have that much we, we really need to see and it's something to where they'll probably be the last two characters i compared to their headspace versions because again you know and i mentioned the next four characters i'll have more stuff to go over right and that's a hero uh hero aubrey Kel and or Basil, Aubrey, Kel, and Hero, right? They'll have more stuff to go over because their characters definitively switch and um again, right, the character swaps in Omari, right? Versus this where it's like we we again we kind of need more to know more about the actual Omari mod to get more info on Mari and Sunny. 
right again but i i do think it's something to wear again you know it'll, it'll be interesting to see right and i guess so there's that and i guess so that's the comparison there right that i went over how i think it'll impact the story again i said and even in the last video i said mari again because a lot of what sunny and then or a lot of what sunny's trauma and guilt comes from is not necessarily i killed mari but that i covered up her death right and that's why i went fully kikomori mode um again right him and basil and then my argument was that mari again you know she'll probably feel worse for her the guilt and trauma will be worse killing her younger brother given that she's the older sibling she should be protecting her younger brother and especially since he's more introverted reclusive you know shy and timid there right and she wouldn't know exactly what he would want her to do as opposed to again Sonny who kind of knew that Mari wanted him to tell the truth and accept what had happened right but obviously it also depends on what kind of direction they take with the incident as well uh because again that direction will uh or could again there right will kind of determine you know okay you know if she called the ambulance right she doesn't she won't have any guilt or trauma relating to covering up his death if they go the burial route again you know then she'll have to deal with basically making him disappear and fucking fall off the face of the earth right so and then again if they go through the alternative incident it'll be the arguably worse um i guess repercussion or side effect of just i, I my argument was that again her not being able to save him is arguably worse than her directly killing him there right especially as the older sibling so we know that his again the change there right we know it'll lead to more of an impact on mari right even if she doesn't actually end up killing him or more so doesn't cover up his death there right so there's that uh and then it's also something to where i feel like we'll get to kind of explore again kind of i, I feel like we'll get to explore kind of how sunny was i guess in a sense in headspace since we'll actually get to see him fucking talk right we'll get to explore kind of how he was obviously it'll be different like my said it'll probably be closer to basil but we'll get to actually explore kind of how he was in those uh flashbacks and uh pictures there right you know again we can see that uh so since we'll finally be able to get to see him talk it'll be interesting to see kind of the interpretation they take there but so that's i think that'll change the story and again for which one i think is better I, i'm still gonna have to go with omori uh, just because, again, and I, I said the same for Mari, but again, it's just like we just need to, we, I feel like in order to do a complete analysis and comparison, at least for these two, we kind of need that mod to come out because they'll all kind of hinge on their interpretation of headspace and kind of what down till there. And then also, again, the kind of direction they take with the story, right? So that that's, again, just something we're kind of waiting on there, need to know about there. So without that, I just, again, you know, granted, my my main point in what I even said in the first video and at the beginning of this video is that the next four characters, right, again, you know, uh, Basil, Aubrey, Hero, and Cal, it's going to be a lot more interesting kind of go over them there uh, is, again, right? For them, it's a purely character swap speculation, like analysis. They, again, you know, neither of them are, or none of them, I guess is a good way to put it, are, uh, again, with the exception of maybe Basil and Hero none of them are tied to again the incident right so they're all characters their characters are kind of independent from obviously you feel the impact but the, it'll be more interesting to go over their characters there right is so much as they don't hinge as much on again you know kind of the actual mod coming out versus just knowing the general character swap so with that i don't really have anything else to say i think that's it for this one uh yeah i hope to get at least one more of these done today so i can do the r3 tomorrow then as well as do the um Again, the mod predictions and like expectations, speculations we have. But with that, I don't really have anything else to say. So I've got for this one. So yep, that's it for this one. See you in the next one.